before I replace this garbage disposal, let's talk about what a professional installation would look like. See the power cord here wrapped around the pipe? The electrical cord is up here at a higher look and down. So if, if water gets on this electrical cord, the water is going to go downward and into the outlet. When we install the new one, we want the electrical cord, this to be downward. So if water drips down it, it'll drip at the low point and not into the outlet. First thing I want to do is unplug it. Carbon disposal from the sink. Discharge from the dishwasher. Discharge out of the garbage disposal through the P-trap and outside. Okay, removing this is amazingly simple. All we do is a quarter turn on this thing. And it's got these hooks here. Oh! Okay. So once I set the garbage disposal into my pan, it started dripping a little bit. I'm replacing this with the same name brand, out of convenience. The pot that goes in the sink, I see no reason to go through the work in replacing that. I went to a store and bought what they had available. The one that was available does not have a power cord. And the reason is, is because some of these are hardwired. So we got to transfer this, this outlet cord to here. I'm not really happy with that, but it is what it is. I believe we got to open up this access panel. So we see where the wires are hooked up. Yeah. All right, some knucklehead used flat tip. Why would anyone make a flat tip screw when there's Phillips available? I hate flatheads. Green to ground. Black to black. And white to white. So I got enough cord where I can just cut some of this short. I'm going to need this, and it's threaded. Okay, I'm going to cut the ends off. I got some fresh stuff to work with. Looks like it has a little vertigrees in there. And vertigrees is a type of corrosion that occurs on copper. We don't want to fight this, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in right now. Run that through here. Pull these other wires up. Okay, now when we tighten the ground, put a curl on there, and we don't want to fight against that curl, so we want that to go in the direction in which we are tightening the ground. And you know what? I was a little stingy on this. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna pull that off just a little more. Now if I wrap it the other way, when we tighten it, it's gonna go against the curl, so we want to go with with that as it curls around there. 
See that? Remember this wraps around this way so it goes with the direction it bolts tightened. White to white. So where am I going to put my finger? Right about there. And they're nice and neat. Just like flat tip, I prefer Phillips. This is the old one, and a short elbow coming out. The new one has extra, so you can one can cut that off. So I have an option: either I can reuse this old one or cut the new one. Well, surprise! That's a 10 millimeter. See that cut right there? Whoever cut this was an idiot. How do you not cut round pipe? In the same pattern. What a hack. Go ahead and cut this correctly. And keep it on track. Keep a straight cut. There are better tools than this, that's a fact. In. I got this other one I can look at to make sure I'm doing it right. See how much nicer and straight this cut is. Control the edge. After I cut this, I took a file and got rid of the, uh, the edges, both on the inside and the outside. With flanges, we want to make sure we always do even pressure. See how much this is tighter and that one's not? I'm going to back that out and make sure they're even on each side. Now, I'm not going to want to tighten this all the way because I want to make sure I have the right angle. So once I put the, the union on there and hook it up to the pipe, then I'll finish tightening these. Give me some wiggle room so I can move if I have to. Okay, this is personal preference. You know, you do whatever you want to do. You can use a screwdriver to pop this out because I, I have a dishwasher and I need this, this popped out. But I'm going to use a flat tip punch. I think this is a more professional way of doing it. And let's lay that thing down. Oops. I want to make sure I get that thing out of there. I should have bought a new one of these. And what this is is it goes inside the union and it compresses so the flat end towards the threads tapered in towards where we're putting it on i strongly recommend buying a new one of these but loose enough to where we can rotate this make sure you put it in the right way <laughs> oh shoot the original plumber was a hack. I want to make sure I have the thread started before I tighten up anything. It's a bit of a tweak on these pipes. I had some I put some Teflon tape on here. Let's finish tightening this. Okay, the electrical cord. Now, I don't care what one does with it, as long as it goes up to the plug and not down to the plug. Again, it's going down to the plug and water's coming down into the electrical outlet. You want it to go in the upward direction. I'm gonna do a wrap on here where I come from down to up, not up to down, all right? I'm gonna have to put a weight on here or something, something to hold that. Oh, and uh, let's not forget to put in the Garbage disposal. So the snap ring thing 
keeps twisting on me as I try to compress it, which means I need wider channel locks. Make sure it doesn't leak here. And then let's go for the big test. Wow, this one's a lot quieter. 